Hey there, it's Tiffany of Clarity Confidence Courage Women's Empowerment. I'm a women's life coach that helps heart-centered, empathic, compassionate women rebuild, redesign, and recreate lives they absolutely love. Today, we're going to be talking about why it is so important to amplify your authentic self. Now, part of amplifying your authentic self is also figuring out who you really are. So it is crucial to make sure that you know who you are, as well as show the world who you are. Now, as always, if you enjoy this content and learning about self-discovery and women's empowerment, then be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right, now let's dive in. The reason why it's so important now to embrace your authentic self is because you're a gift to this world. If Oprah never embraced her authentic self, we wouldn't have all the gifts that she gave us in media. You know, if women like Mother Teresa never embraced her authentic self, she couldn't have helped as many people as she helped when she was alive. So you have a gift that is really important to give to this world. And now is the perfect time to rediscover your passions, your interests. You know, what really sets your soul on fire? And reconnect with all of that to really help you re regain a sense of purpose and joy and bring that to the forefront. So let's discuss some tips on how you can amplify and identify your authentic self and redefine who you really truly are. Now, the first step is self-acceptance. Amplifying your authentic self starts with self-acceptance, which means embracing your flaws, embracing your imperfections, because we all have them, and embracing the fact that, yeah, you made mistakes in this life and that's okay. All of this is a part of your unique journey and it helps to contribute to who you really are. Self-acceptance also involves the process of self-differentiation, which is the ability to distinguish your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings from someone else's or from other people's or from your ex's. So for example, if your ex-spouse loved basketball, you know, he loved watching basketball. Basketball was his world. When you get divorced, you might realize you don't really love basketball. You did it for him. You, you watched it because of him. And self-differentiation means that you may have start to ask yourself the questions about well, what kind of sports do I like? Do I even like sports? Maybe you like soccer or maybe you like watching ice skating. But the point is, it's important to start asking yourself, what is it that you feel? What is it that you like? I always say try using the I prefer method when you speak to yourself or when you're asked, answering questions that other people ask you. You know, so this involves saying things like if someone asks you a question, I prefer coffee or I actually prefer the yellow dress or I actually prefer to stay at home. Doing this helps you get accustomed to hearing yourself say what it is you prefer. And it can be simple things. Again, like if you go to Starbucks and the barista says, do you want that whip with whip or no whip? <laughs> Just say, I prefer fill in the blank. Again, start small and the more you do it, the more you're able to self-differentiate and be accustomed to what that feels like. Next is nurturing self-care. You guys, self-care is not a luxury, it is a necessity. You need to make self-care a priority in your life. This includes physical, emotional, mental, as well as financial and environmental self-care. Taking care of yourself allows your authentic self to shine. Self-care helps you to replenish your energy, your peace, your joy. And when you feel so good and so alive, that's when you can actually give more to the world. That's when you can give more to your family or your children or your friends or your community. That's why I say self-care is actually a selfless act because you're replenishing a natural, valuable resource that this world needs, which is you. You are a natural, valuable resource. And if you become empty, if you become weak, if you become drained, there's nothing left to give. And when you are a filled, happy, joyful woman, magic happens. So make sure that you are prioritizing your self-care because giving to yourself is selfless. 
because in the end, the result is that you give more to the world. Next, you need to build a support system. You need to be surrounding yourself with a supportive community. And that can be friends, family members, community groups, or support groups, especially divorce support groups. Having people who understand, accept, and encourage your authentic self is invaluable. It's so difficult to live a life where you know you can't be yourself and you have to pour so much energy into faking it, into hiding who you really are. No one wants to be surrounded by people who don't encourage the very best of their true selves or who shame you for being who you are or put you down for being who you are. You should be in around people that truly love you for who you are, for who you really are, who want you to show up as your best self, who want you to be your true self. There's billions of people in this world. So be willing to find your tribe. And it may take time, trust me, I know. Growing up, I never felt like I could be my authentic self because I was a quiet, shy child who just liked to read and you know, do my own thing. But I had to learn that eventually, especially as I got older, that's part of me. It's not all of me, but it's part of me. So I had to learn to not be ashamed of that and to really step into this world as myself. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Next is about setting boundaries. Boundaries protect you physically, mentally, and emotionally. They allow you to prioritize your needs, your values, your beliefs, and your standards, all of which reinforces your authentic self. Now, a lot of you have heard me talk about boundaries. I even have my workbook, Empowered Boundaries, which is a free guide to really help you understand what boundaries are, why you need them, and how to verbalize your boundaries in different areas of your life. You can get that free guide, Empowered Boundaries, on my website, absolutely free. It's a free download. Make sure you go to my website and get it. I'll put the link in the description. Get your free copy of Empower Boundaries. It's really going to help you with that aspect of your life. Now, here is an added bonus that I just want to share. Amplifying your authenticity contributes to building up your confidence. When you're able to step out into the world and show who you really are, what you really stand for, what you really value, and be firm in your boundaries and your beliefs, it really illustrates that you are a confident woman and people will actually respect you more for it. So making choices that really align with your true authentic self gives you the strength that you need to be a confident, strong, courageous woman. So that's just an added bonus of being your authentic self and stepping into this world and showing this world who you really are and sharing your gifts, your unique, special talents, skills, and abilities. So embrace you. Remember, your authenticity is your superpower. Amplifying your authentic self is not just an option or something you can think about. It's a necessity. You must do this. It's about rediscovering who you are, nurturing self-love, and building a life that truly resonates with your values and your beliefs and your desires. What is it that you really want? What makes you happy? What brings you joy? So when you are able to step into your authentic self, number one, you redefine yourself, but you also create this beautiful new life that really is the life that your heart and your soul is screaming for, it's desiring. So why not do it? Now's the time. If you found this video inspiring and relatable, please give it a thumbs up, hit that share button, and make sure if you haven't already subscribed to subscribe to this channel. I love sharing this information with you. And as always, I will be seeing you next time. Bye.